about to come off the ferry. Tunes are blaring. Ready to ride Here some we go, coasters. Jay. So cheers. No, we're not on Top Road Dragster. Paul is driving. Launching it down the motorway. So we've literally been driving 20 minutes, lovely straight road, and we are about to enter a Belgium. and welcome to another Thrill Rides Photography vlog and we are here today well we didn't think we were going to be back here again but we are here today at Plopsaland yay so why am I back here so quickly well there's only one reason why isn't there it's only the ride to happiness so how did it all come about well you probably remember this guy hi Dan how are we doing are you doing all right yeah good mate you so this man here after seeing my videos, my comments, my tweets, messaged me up and went, when are we going? <laughs> and just like we always do, we just went, let's just go and do it again. Yeah, why not? So yeah, we were like, let's go and do it. So Dan's first time um, here, uh, so we're really looking forward to it. We've got an absolute beast of a coaster. Who else are we here with? We are here with Jake. Hello. 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 How are you? Good, thank you. You're Good. back again. Yes. For your favourite coaster. Yeah. Yes. So yes, we have come today. So it is uh, still £20 for a day ticket on the actual ferry. So we've got straight over this morning. Um, our first uh, ferry was cancelled due to technical issues. So they put us on the second one. And uh, yeah, straight over, straight into the park. Still made it before. Opening. Still made it uh, for pretty much before the actual ride opens as well. Um, so really looking forward to it. In terms of vaccination status is now, uh, we didn't. We had to show it literally to the fence uh, guys just at the port. And to be fair, they just said, "Are you vaccinated?" We said yes, and they let us straight in. Didn't and actually, check. no, didn't, didn't even check. Even check. Um, and in terms of here, there's actually no checks whatsoever anymore into no. the park. Uh, so no uh, vaccination checks. But yeah, we are here. We are going to try something different today. We've all got GoPros today. We're all going to literally try and get like a freeway POV going on. So something a bit different on the ride itself. Uh, but yeah, here we are guys. I didn't think I'd be back here so quickly. But we are. Look at this. The ride to happiness. It's just coming back into the station here. I just cannot believe I'm back here already. But yeah, really looking forward to it. Jake, are you ready? Yes, I am. Oh, and we're going to try... We're going to try something different as well. So it's a free spinning coaster. So the plan is me and Dan on one side, Jake on another, to hopefully try and get that spin that we saw um, in the vlog last time. 
mega spin. Mega oh, spin, wow. hopefully. Let's walk on. But, oh my God, it is. Dan, it is, it is literally walk on. They're waiting for people to go into the ride area. We're not even gonna have enough time to get the GoPros on. Look at this, walk on ride. On the best coaster in Europe. Let's go and do it. Here we go, we are on in the station. We've literally spent more time putting our GoPros on uh, ready uh, than actually waiting in the queue. Um, so in terms of on-ride filming, that is allowed in the park itself. Uh, there is no security check or anything like any Jalandia. Uh, so Dan's got his on today. Dan, yes. how is it? It's incredible, that is, isn't it? Just to see it online and yeah, it's you know, come straight away and just walk straight into the station. Yeah. Like, man. It is crazy, isn't it? So, yeah, so absolutely brilliant. You get a nice little view there just at the station while the train's not there. straight into that Jojo roll, um, generally backwards to be fair, um, but yeah. Dan, lucky day today mate, it's supposed to rain today, it is sunny, it's supposed Very to be busy up. apparently, yeah. and well, it's we empty. We were told not to bother coming today because it would be absolutely packed, but yeah. it shows sometimes you just got to come and just, you know, go for it. Yeah, exactly. And then you got the, that's the extra ride off the station just there, and we've already got the train coming back into the station already. Still one of the best coasters in Europe. Here we go, we don't have to pay 15 or 25 uh, pounds to get on it as a VIP. We pretty much had VIP service here straight away by getting straight on without even waiting. Here we go, here's our seats. We're ready to ride the ride to happiness. <laughs> Jojo! Here we go. Woo! Wow! Oh, and we get the here we go. Look at that Jojo roll. Wow! Here we go. Here we go. Woo Spinning more than anyone. Woo! The ejector coming over that bank, the first drop. Oh my god. Yeah, backwards over wow. the first drop. There, yeah, look at that great coaster as well there. Oh my god, let's get back round and do it again. Woohoo!
Um... So there we go, after, oh hang on a second, let's just wipe that. So there we go, after two rides of Walk On, the ride to happiness. And uh, yeah, didn't get as much spin on that time, uh, so we need to change our configuration there to make it a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, still a fantastic ride. Going over the airtime hills just here, uh, sideways is an experience in itself. But really enjoyed it. Dan, what did you think of that? That's just, just something that I've never ridden anything like yeah. you try and, This is the problem I have. I try and compare it into where it fits in with my top coasters, but there's nothing else like I've it. ridden that I can, you can compare it. Yeah. It's so different. And, Definitely. That's probably why I like it so much. This, this way, guys. There's nothing like it. Yeah. Looking off that way. Yeah, wrong um, way, mate. Yeah, just. Some of the elements on there are incredible. The the launches are you wouldn't think they're Mac launches, you know, after doing icon and that. Yeah. Completely next level. And that um, downwards uh, downwards kind of launch is crazy, yeah. isn't it? So and then the dance the dance track moves that they have glare yeah. on as you're going around it just goes so well with brilliant, isn't with it? it as well. Jake, you enjoy that? Yeah. 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 Really good, isn't it? Uh, we're going to go through this way and then go around that way. That'd be the better way of going, I think. Uh, but yeah, look, it is just crazy. Really is. And like I said, just them kind of uh, airtime hills just there uh, are brilliant. They really are. That's my favourite element there. I think that's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, really good ride. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what we're going over to in there. We don't know if we're going to go over to Anubis or Heidi the Ride, but. We're going through this little bit here, which allows us to get through. In terms of parks today, Theme Park Ducks the ride, just there. Let's get the Theme Park Ducks in. Let's go and say hello to Theme Park Ducks. My little boy on the front of that. Look at this. They haven't got music for the Theme Park Ducks. Look at that. Shout out to Oliver. I will bring you there one day, mate. You can watch this. Yeah, little Oliver. You can ride the Theme Park Ducks too. Harry's still a bit too little, yeah. Yeah. Jake, wanna go on the Theme Park Ducks? No, I haven't. Okay. No, you're too big now. Yeah, too big. <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, when getting into the station for Hoyder the Ride, a little bit of confusion there. So uh, it was actually closed, but it was open, it was closed, it was open, it was closed, uh, but it is closed. So um, unfortunately, we'll be coming back to that later on. Uh, they're saying a little bit of wind, um, but I mean, I can't really see anything at all, to be fair. There's no movement of anything. Um, but at the end of the day, they've got to be cautious because obviously doing it last time and they're right getting stuck, that's the last thing they want is bad press again to do that. So actually, uh, it's probably a good thing, really, that they're over cautious. So we're actually going to go on this now, the little powered coaster here, the Drake or the Dragon, uh, which uh, we didn't do last time, but you know, why not? Why this is really quiet, we'll get on this. So here we go the Dragon, which is a Mac a powered coaster, and it's right up them steps. <laughs> Dispatch. Send it! We've got to do it. We've got to do it. It's warm enough. Helix! Lovely theme launch bloom there. Launch going! Oh my god, I can't believe I've finally been on the Velocicoaster here at Universal. 
what a fantastic ride. It's worth coming here just for that ride. It really was an absolutely brilliant ride. Dan, how was Velocicoaster? Speechless. Absolutely incredible. Fantastic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. T 10 minute dispatches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Fast there. And Jake, where's Jake? He's still probably sitting down. Oh no, is he? He was sitting down for ages. How was it? Good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Best ride in the world? Yes. And here's some of the merchandise that you can actually get here um, at Universal there. We've got some there and then also as well we've got some bits here as well from them. But also they've gone in partnership with Legoland as well. So they've actually now included Peppa Pig world as well. Look at this. We've got Peppa Pig there dressed up there as a dinosaur. Wow, we've got some Jurassic Park there. And they've also included Fortnite, look at that. How cool is that? Well, yeah, really cool. And what else we got, Jake? We've got Among Us. Woo! And Nintendo World is coming soon. Unfortunately, we didn't get there today, but let's carry on our day here at Universal. Call the police. Call the police, just kicking off outside. Look at this. Yeah! Here we go. Unfortunately, due to wind of some sort, it's, uh, things are closed. So we are going to go on Van de Plop. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting here now. Don't know what it is. First time seeing this ride. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but here we go. I'm gonna take you on for the ride. Give you theme park ducks. Nee, 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 nee. Look how happy he is. We've got, not got one. Oh, I've got one theme park duck. I think this one's got Corona, you know. This one's really. Yeah, are you alright? Theme park duck, you alright? Hello? Theme park duck. 
Hello? Oh, he's looking at us. Feed about a duck. And there's also. I think he's been on Ride to Happiness. Oh, there as well. There's one up there. Woo! Being part of ducking, Please everybody. Only abroad would you actually see a real donkey in with a, a ride. And there's a sheep over there. So we're in this amazing indoor adventure centre and Jake wants a race on the slide. So we're gonna give him a race. Place your bets on who's gonna win. Kid out of Dan. Always up for a challenge, she says. Who's so gonna face Jake on the slide? There they go. Oh, no. Dan was gonna go through the wall then. Sorry about the crack there. Wait, 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 wait. Go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Go. <laughs> there was only ever going to be one winner. Listen what I say. I didn't get to say it because I was doing both of us. But yeah, it's a lovely centre in here. Well done, Jake. Unlucky. So we've just had lunch, some lovely chips, and now we're going to ride Anubis. It's a Gerslauer launch coaster. Here we go. Finally, the rides are back open and we are going on Anubis, which is the Gerslauer coaster here at Pumsaland. Just had some food, we've had a fries in Cornette, fries in the cone for the English there. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this. Dan, can't really see much more, but how are you looking forward to this? Um, yeah, looking forward to launch Gerslauer. Definitely. So Yes, I can't see it, Dan, but you're that's, definitely there, mate. Yes, yeah? good. But here we go. I reckon there's been a bit of a queue for this one. Here we go, though. I know. Yeah. Send it, Dan. Send it. Send it. Here we go. Woo! Woo -hoo! Air time. Woo! So because the rides are now back open, everyone's going back to the big ride. So Anubis was there. Uh, we waited about 20 minutes for that. So not too bad in terms of uh, what's going on. 
Uh, but yeah, got on there. Um, yeah, so kind of weird, so policies really. So like, you're not allowed to wear glasses, even with a strap um, kind of around your head um, to secure them. Um, then you um, are allowed to wear GoPros, so they're fine on Abyss, uh, Anubis. On the Ride of Happiness, you're allowed to wear a wrist strap and a GoPro, but you're not allowed to wear glasses. Um, it's just a little bit like, but they don't know themselves if it's right because they're questioning each other. So, I mean, I'm at the end of the day, I'm all up for uh, GoPros and stuff as well. But the consistency is just yeah. not quite right. It's the continuity, um, isn't it? That's frustrating. Yeah. But a uh, great ride. Let's first yeah. of all, let's find out what Dan thought of Anubis. Yeah, no, good. Really, really intense. Launch. Yeah. Snappy. And yeah, it took me by surprise. I, I looked at it and thought, oh, no, like, because everyone, as soon as I think of Gerstler, I just think of Fort Park and Saw and how rough and yeah. how sort of under maintained it's been. But that was really, really good. Really smooth. It wasn't head bangy or anything like that. No. And the, I love launch coasters. So, that, yeah. That I mean, for how tiny point. that launch is, it literally flies, doesn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't wait any any longer than sort of 30 minutes for it because it is quite a short, short coaster. But, yeah. Um, yeah, the launch is definitely the highlight there for us. Definitely. Jake, what did you think? Good. Um, Anubis, you like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a good ride. Yeah, so your GoPro was fine, she said. Yeah. You, she yeah. was happy with your GoPro there. But yeah, yeah in just, terms it's, of... It's not the policies I have a problem with, you know. They're the rules, and if you want to get on the coasters, you you know, you follow the park's rules. It's just the fact that the first time we went on the ride's happiness, I could wear my glasses with my strap on. We literally went back round again, walk on, and the bloke says, oh, you can't wear your glasses. It's like... And, just, it, and it wasn't like they were missed because they you referred to them yeah like the first yeah. time so you yeah. know but like i said i've just said you know at the end of the day uh, we want them to allow us to film on rides uh, that is the thing so we're not complaining about it uh, we just wish that it would be a bit more consistent uh, from operator to operator really but still doesn't affect the day uh, we're glad that the rides now are back open um, yeah. because at one point we was waiting about an hour uh, for things to open back up again. Um, so Heidi the Ride is next, hopefully. So we're gonna get in queue for that now. Uh, and uh, yeah, get on that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully Dan will like this one as well. So now Heidi, GCI one poster. Send it. Same as Wicker Man at Old Towers. Here we go, Heidi the Ride, GCI. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Finally, we got on Heidi the Ride, the wooden coaster here. Um, and yeah, I absolutely enjoyed that ride. Absolutely great. Unfortunately, running on one train, so it does take up a lot of time just to get on that ride today. Um, but you know, the park just yeah. seems to get a bit busier now compared to it was earlier on. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed it. We were on the back row there, as you can see by the filming, and we really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it was a surprise for Dan. Yeah, How no, was that? I was expecting a little bit slower, maybe. A yeah. lot less air time. There's a lot of air time on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a good family wooden coaster, smooth. Yeah. Yeah, some good moments on that. Definitely. But yeah, just operations of it. Yeah. Questionable. Yeah, that. definitely. Bit of a shame, really, because like I know it's on one train. Something must have happened earlier on because they just stopped it all together. Uh, but yeah, 
we were, we're trying to get Jake to go on this. We are daring him with loads of different things at the moment. Um, so he, he's, uh, I think he might do it. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens in a little bit. He wants the Ride of Happiness um, hat. And we said that we would get it for him if he goes on this. Um, so I would probably have to go on with him. Uh, so I don't know what kind of the raw end of the stick that I would get, but you know what? A log flume ride is a log flume ride. They're so. I love blue. Here we go. Get a bit of height on this. A bit of height. Bags on right, guys. Bags on right. Here we go. Oh, I can love this green water. Oh, look at this. Let's get up there, look at that. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa who is that? So, according to Myth Jake. Whoa! What's it? Whoa. Something's squirting us. Jeez. Jake! your fault. So contrary to belief, Jake, people have come flying off this before because of the air time going down the hill. Dinosaurs doing a bit of squirting. Oh, here we go. Banks on ride. straight into another one. Uh. Here we go guys. Uh. Jake it's your fault. Nothing though bad so Nothing far. Oh, you've got a squirter. Oh. I beg your pardon. We had a squirter, mate. Oh. Oh, the dinosaur, right. Yeah. This is flying, isn't it? It's the one of the fastest log flume ever. It's got courage to it. Oh, this is the big one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're going out the log flume. Oh, 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 Dan, get out! A little bit of feeding on a log flume. A little bit of, oh! A little bit of feeding on a log flume. Yeah, it's a good little rock flume, actually, yeah. Be a good little picture from up here. Oh, 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 yay! That's it, guys. Off we get. We're on a long flume. We're on a long flume. We're on a long flume. Oh, look at that. Got a little. Here we go. Back some ride. Big long flume. Air time machine. Enjoy that, guys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's get on the ride to happiness. To save Jake getting us on any more log flumes, <laughs> we're going to actually leave him here and lock him up and throw away the key. See you later, Jake. Bye. Jake believes that he still should be riding on a log flume, so he's armed, ready to take battle. There he is. 
charge. Ah! After daring Jake to go on that log flume then, uh, we actually then actually had to go on ourselves with him. Uh, so I don't know who won that, uh, that kind of little taunt there. Uh, but yeah, really good, actually really fun log flume actually. It's kind of good that they've tried to do stuff with it. I think it's brilliant. I really do. Uh, Jake, how was your log flume ride? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, good little kind of ride there. And then Dan, how was it? You summed it up perfectly, yeah. Just they've tried to do a lot with it. Lots of theming. Good uh, dragon and dinosaur sort of theme to it. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Nice. More parts should sort of try and do that with those sort of log flumes. Yeah. They sort of just get installed and then just sort of move them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Something just caught my attention. Oh yeah, so we've actually just now walked over to the happiness ride in Europe. And here it is. So Jake, it's time to go on the ride of happiness. It's not got a cute. So a bet is a bet in our world. Jake went on it, um, forced us on it, um, so we had to do it. So we actually have just been robbed uh, for this. But here we go, look at this. So he's actually got himself the Ride to Happiness or the Tomorrowland hat. There we go, let's have a quick look at it first of all. So you've got the nice little logo, the red to the black at the back there as well. So. Yeah, really nice hat, isn't it? Yeah. Right then, viewers, the time is now to say how much this hat was. So, it is not as cheap as Enzo £15 a ride or £25 uh, uh, VIP. It's more than that, isn't it? Yes. It is more than that. But a bet is a bet, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, that is about you got you got to keep. keep yeah, we got to keep to the bit. But yeah, we know we just done another ride on it and uh, front row, first time front row, and yeah, I, I really, yeah, I really enjoyed it more yeah. on the front row to the back. The back you do get dragged around a bit more, but the front just with the yeah. air time it feels more intense, despite you going a little bit slower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, incredible still. I, I think it's the first drop, the only thing that kind of lets it slightly down. Yeah. Um, because you just feel like you're hanging there just a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, you do get a bit down the drop and you're still not really gone yet. Yeah, but, um, but that was yeah, a fantastic totally. ride. Yeah, it really bad. was. Like, it's just different again, isn't it? You just go again, you're like, wow, you go again, the layout's the same, but the experience is different every time, yeah. isn't it? We were saying in the station, you know, like, why can't someone like Old Towers build this? You know, it's not very high, it's it's quite low to the ground, most of it. You know, why can't we have something like this? And if a little park like this can get something of this quality yeah. in, well, why can't we in the I UK agree. have, have and, and the throughputs, the throughputs are easy, yeah, you know, they, they fly, you know. Well, they're flying out with the automatic um, restraint system yeah. going down. They don't even have to come and check. But, Definitely. Uh, it's just amazing, like the whole package of it, just the whole look. Yeah. 
Uh, definitely. Yeah. And it's just about to go off soon. But yeah, we've got an absolutely fantastic view here. This is where you kind of get your view from. Um, you can just see that's the, um, the, the actual first bit there, round into the first drop. But it's just coming now, so we'll just see underneath us just now. Over above us, sorry. Hello. Really slow for the first bit there. Look at how slow you go with the sun there. And then into the actual launch system there. Just this bit here is the actual bit there for um, the actual second launch system there as well. So it'll fly around to this uh, corkscrew barrel there, around it goes and then you'll then hit the second launch just coming up now. There we go, and then second launch, go. Just feel that air time and there you go. Into my favourite bit which is just above us there. Fantastic ride Jake, isn't it? Yeah, and you've got to have to prove it. Boop. Okay, so I've just actually been st standing around, really, uh, walking across this little silly thing here, this bridge, like all the way over. And then down there, there's a little slide. So I've been doing that just to get some photos um, of the ride to happiness. And then these guys have uh, actually been on um, Anubis. Anubis. Uh, yeah. Twice, wasn't it? Yeah, front row and uh, back row. Uh, park's really filtered out now. That's one thing I've noticed is a lot of families have gone home and we were speaking to one of the ride staff in there and she was saying sort of after lunchtime the, the park just completely filters out. A lot of local families come for lunch and let the kids have a play on some of the smaller stuff and then it peters out. So yeah, it literally yeah. walk on. So. so yeah, so we thought, well, we're going Super Splash. And then we've now started to walk towards it, and then Jake's just scarpered. So we're going on it, and he's not. So he's going to film apparently off ride. This is what he said anyway. I mean, getting out of it already. Fred's but we're about to go on Super Splash, which I believe is a coaster because it is on rails and it also um, goes down and freely moves around as well. So here we go. We're on our way now to do Super Splash. Send it. Send it. That's well high. So we're on a uh, water coaster with a, a lift hill. Ooh. A spinning. Spinning, wow. Lift hill. There's a lot more height to this than the actual yeah, cool. Oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. I need to stop here for a picture. Oh, no, look at the. Oh, my feet just got soaked. <laughs> Let's get that. Oh, oh. Let's get that. Oh, look at the ride of happiness, though. <laughs> that, that's deceiving. Everyone looked like they were coming off dry. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> definitely. Ah, uh, we'll dry. Great ride. But great uh, interaction there with uh, the pirate ship. Wow. There we go, nice ride there on the Super Splash. It's not tidal wave wet though, is it? No, just Super Splash. <laughs> <laughs> 
not a bad ride there on the Super Splash, which is a really good ride actually. So it's got a nice little lift hill, something totally different to what I've kind of been on before. I know that I've kind of been on the Fantasia boats and stuff as well, uh, River Crest that allows you to go up on there, but that was really good. That was really well themed in the kind of the stars and that as well. Really good, I really enjoyed that. Did we get wet? Yes, we did. We got pretty soaked there, but yeah, still a fantastic ride. Now, we're about to see these guys get on a bus, um, which is um, the Gerso coaster, uh, and they're on front row, so they've asked me to get them to film them, so yeah, they are about to get on now. What is really funny though in the station is watching the lady, every single time Jake goes up there, she gets a little stick out, does a little check, uh, even though he is massively taller, and she still talks to him and knows. But yeah, here they are getting into the station there, they're just getting onto the train. Let's, uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. And see if we can see anyone. Jake's just putting his little bar on now. There they go. Let's zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Oh, air gates are closing. Look at his little face. Let's go and see it zoom in. Oh. There we go. Getting ready now. Just checking the last little bits. Just see Jake's little face. That's zoom out now. She's just coming back now, so it's ready to go. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Send it. Yeah. Hey. Send it! Send it! Woo! 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 Front bell! <laughs> Whee! Great ride, love that. Dad, yeah. see my phone, I was doing this. Were you? Yeah. And how was your ride there? An Anubis. Good. Yeah? yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Dan? Front row coaster, 100%. Yeah. The, the back row has got the famous Girth ache, yeah, as I call it. Very rattly, rough, jolty, but then the front two rows, fine, absolutely fine. The Brilliant. launch on there is mad. Yeah. Absolutely mad. Yeah, good little ride there. Well, great interaction there with the operator as well. Yeah. And they like checking your height every single time, Jake, even yeah. though she knows you. <laughs> oh, she thought it was a twin. Oh. Well, here we go. We're on our way over to Hide of the ride. Hide it. All gonna go and see is the little uh, the little coaster over there as well. It's got any queue because generally it's quite a big one. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a look. But yeah, park is quiet now. Not many people around. The ride. Are they happy? In? Dad, we'll do hiding like once, and then we'll do happiness, should we? Yeah. Time for the most random themed coaster out there, and also how tight close is that? Look at this. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that, see, Dan, Dan, see Dan, can, touch Dan it. can literally, even Jake right. can touch it. Let's try and walk in all this stuff here, look. Oh my god, oh, send it! Off he goes. Like safety here, like, I can put my hand through there. Yeah, easy. Right. Wow. Here we go, Zo. We're on a little coaster. Here at Plops Land.
we got on roller skates and uh, yeah first of all no queue line there so straight on it but I was just talking to the operator and I was saying that I swear before that that, that used to be a two lap special and that, uh, like earlier I was saying that the Dragon used to be a two lap special so they look at the, uh, the actual tickets or the sold for the day um, and then they kind of make that decision on uh, kind of if they're going to make it a two lap special or a one lap special um, so yeah they were saying that towards the morning uh, you would get a two lap um, or if it's a quiet day in the park you get two laps but generally if it is busy like it was earlier then um, it'll only be one lap but yeah quite enjoyable ride there and uh, yeah really nice to kind of have a chat with the ride host who uh, was really kind of accommodating to allow us to stay on the ride and uh, yeah it's a good little ride Jake seemed to like it, he seemed to sit on it quite a lot, didn't you Jake? Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, good little ride. Yeah. Like I said before though, I think the theming's a bit weird, isn't it Dan? Yeah. You've got like pineapples and pineapples cleaning, and all sorts products. Of cleaning products. But yeah, and then love got... hearts and like if, dolls. If you count your threads, if you're six foot four, you'll fit on it. Oh okay, yeah, Dan's yeah. Uh, Danny's very tall. Yeah, so uh, Yeah, but it used to be a uh, feel uh, kind of themed. Uh, with a Samsung washing machine uh, so I can kind of get the cleaning bit of it but I just don't get the pineapple and the dolls and the I and love the, yous and, and all that the, kind of uh, stuff so. the uh, lollipops and stuff outside too yeah doesn't really make sense um, but we're getting close to the end of the day now so we are now on our way to the Ride of Happiness this is probably going to be our last one of the day uh, looking forward to getting on this one don't know where we're going to sit we'll kind of make that up in a little bit when we get towards the front uh, but yeah here we go this is our last ride of the day here at Plopsland and we're going to pick the amazing coaster that is the extreme spinning coaster uh, which is free when you get into this park it is the ride to happiness so we're now in the queue last ride of the day on the ride to happiness and it's got its lights on now great light and package on there so yeah last ride it's three minutes to six so here we go i'll take you along for the ride Sideways launch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so we've had the last ride there on the ride to happiness and uh, wow, that was incredible, it really was. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic ride there. Came back into the station the other way around. Uh, for, for me, it really just meant one of the best rides in Europe. Actually, in the world, it really is. And it just shows that, you know, just small parks can afford these type of rides as well. And it makes them, uh, you know, kind of stand out. There's enthusiasts, there's people going everywhere around. Uh, there you go. My favourite part just there. There are enthusiasts all over the world coming to ride this ride because it is one of the best out there, it really is. You know, it just cements it, it is a fantastic ride. The airtime is absolutely brilliant, it really is. Really, really good ride there. Um, so just quickly get Jake's reaction. Jake, how was your day again? A Plopsland, you enjoyed yeah, it? Yeah, it was really good, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. And favourite ride? Oh, this every time. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Just to credit, I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah. Your, is it top coaster? Yep. Definitely coaster. for you, isn't it? So, Dan. Yes. How's it been for you, mate? Has it lived oh, up to it? Because yeah. I, I built this up for you. It did. It we, did. you know, you came all this way. Is yeah. it worth it? Uh, just for this alone, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Um, just people bother about packages and you know the full package. This literally is the full package. It's got everything. Yeah. Theme in the trains, the lighting package now with the lights on are incredible, and just the. It's not, you know, the longest, longest coaster out there, but the elements that it's got, like packed into all the rides with the banana roll. I'm not even going to try and explain what this thing no, is. No, I don't know, but it's, I mean, that's incredible. Like, that's it's mine. It's sort of like a giant, like, half moon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but half it's, way, it's just way. got everything. And yeah, really, really enjoyed today. I mean, it was a bit iffy, you know, with the wind and, you know, there was a few operation problems, but you're going to get that when you come to these parks. And, you know, it's a good little park, you know. It's, something for everyone here uh, I'll try and bring Oliver Harry and the missus yeah. back you know when they're a bit older and, um, you know there's something that everyone can do yeah uh, even you know when Jake's at 1.3 he can still go on something like this well every ride here Jake can go on is your 1.3 yes. so and I think that's a great kind of uh, yeah. really great kind of fitting in with uh, you know the family kind of theme isn't it so yeah I just think one they could have one decent sort of adult flat ride yeah um, Maybe like a gyro swing, or I, I love Rush at Fort Park. I think that the SNS swings are brilliant. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just as it leaves the station now, what what? Yeah, a ride. it's just going there now. Off it goes for its last like it. ride of the uh, the day there. But yeah, operations on this has been fantastic. Yes. To be fair, yes. this has been absolutely brilliant. They really do a standout job of this. Um, but yeah, it's a great one, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. Well worth the three hour drive to yours and then the ferry and yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. get over it. You know, it's only 35 minutes from the port. Yeah. So it's really doable. It's cheap. £20 on the ferry at the moment. Yeah. You know, Definitely. a lot of other parks are, you know, trying to charge a lot of money for, for things that I don't think they should. So why not come and support another smaller park and, you know, get on the ride that everyone's talking about? Yes. Yeah. You know. It's a brilliant coaster. That is so, yeah. it, yeah, definitely. I'll shut up uh, winding on now. No, no, definitely not. But yeah, um, I've absolutely loved it. I love this part to pieces. Off it goes again in the element we do not know. Comment below so, what, so which one, one it is. Train. So it literally says we've been studying it. It's been round twice. twice. Yeah, exactly. But the airtime bit just here, just coming through now, that one there, and then that one, like. You know, I don't. I didn't even see that structure there. How close it gets no. to the actual. You know, you just don't see that. No. You're just in a moment of shock. You really are. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next vlog, I believe, for us, unless I'll be going to Fort Park or something uh, beforehand. You will. I'll, yeah. Okay. I probably <laughs> will do. I'll probably be going to Fort Park at some point before we go away. Other than that, the next vlog for us will actually be a little trip. Uh, to America, to Las Vegas, uh, and we'll kind of go through that at some point as well. We're going to Las Vegas, and then we're flying to Orlando for Iron Guazi, Velocicoaster, and uh, Icebreaker, Mako. We're looking forward to that. Hey, you missed something. Uh, the, 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 missed something. the last, uh, yeah, and there's also one other thing as well. We're getting married! Hey, yeah. So also as well, uh, we're going to be filming the wedding and we might, depends on kind of how it goes, we might get that online for everyone to see as well. But the reason for going over to Vegas is to actually get married over there. Um, whoop whoop. It's been uh, been two, nearly three years in the making for this. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're getting out there to do it. So yeah, and then we're going to be doing, when we get back, 
uh, stag do after the, the event as well where we'll be going to Energylandia can't wait Dan's face but already. just before the video ended I wanted to say this anyway thank you so much Georgina for looking after the two boys uh, we've got Harry he's 10 weeks old uh, and Oliver he's two and a half both a nightmare at the moment uh, so thank you for staying at home and looking after them definitely you lots. and also at the same time as well Thanks to Bex as well for allowing us to uh, enjoy and uh, stay Dad's around. on tour. It is Dad's on tour with our little sunshine sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch your ass down, down the road. Close the door on this vlog. It is good night from us.